Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 13, NASDAQ's off 80, SP's off 2.5, gold contract trading down $10.40 at 18.03 an ounce. We got silver down 50 cents, $20.23 an ounce. Light Sweet Crude up $2.00. 27 cents at 94.20, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note, down 19 ticks, trading out at 119.04. The 30-year uh, off a full point, plus 20 ticks at 140.04, and King Dollar. King Dollar right now is down 89 ticks, 105.107. The Euro is out here at a price point of 102. The Yen is at one, I lose it. Uh, there we go, 132, and the British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your, your world? We're going to go to the world of the NQs first, because the NQs are doing an intraday ABC structure on the way down, folks. Now, the S&P is not, so it's going to get really intriguing watching this shake out. So what you had out here, they, bottom line, got the NQs all the way up to... Uh, 575 out here. Right now you're at 313. Uh, and you can see the bottom line, let's see, we had 14,000 contracts, took that out. Uh, no, maybe we didn't. 10,000. No, it didn't do it. That's interesting. Okay. No, it, 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 neither one of them had the, um, the volume when it took it out intraday. That being said, that and the NQs, the NQs are trying to make it over that spike low that we had yesterday. The spike low yesterday was 13,237. That's how this baby's shaking out right now. You can see the last 10 minutes, uh, that was a big bar, man, down there. Now, I shook it off, but uh, that's a high volume bar. When you get high volume bars, whether it's daily, weekly, intraday, intraday, man, they love going after them. You know, if they don't go after them today, they're gonna go after them tomorrow. So let's go over to the SPY first. We take a look at the SPY, what you have inside the SPY. Gave it up on price. The SPY got to a price point of 424. And I suspect what we're gonna have here, folks, is that, see that last, like in the SPY, I don't think the pullback's gonna be as much. The SPY looks to me like 413 to 406 is game. It's a high volume buy, that's what I'm doing here. And that's not where it broke up from. Now the Qs, I suspect, are going to go right back to where they took off the last time. And, and the reason is that that's where that bar is. See that bar right there? That is 308 in the Qs. You're at 321. You know, because what you're going to have out here today, it's, it's, you're, you're going into this uh, 116 million. Yesterday we were talking about this, that, you know, it's weird, man, when you, you, when you go after a swing and you can't take it out and you get a big day, you know, that was like, okay, and then, you know, there was a head fake this morning, no doubt about that, man. I was saying, okay, you want to jump the ice, but it was dicey. Bottom line, gave it up and gave it up in spades. That being said, so my take, and this is kind of cool how this is laying out, too, because watch this. Because that is also the .382 of the whole move. And, you know, that it totally makes sense. That, you know, you have that .382. They line up the exact same way right at that side of strength out there. And I suspect what it's gonna be about, okay, uh, what it's gonna be about is the uh, DXY. That's the bottom line, okay? So what we had out here is that we had a break lower with conviction, okay? Bottom line, and I suspect what this thing wants to do, which would be a mind blower, but this is how it works, man, is that it will go back up and, you know, the, the break that we had occurred inside the dollar is saying the dollar wants to go to 97. And what happens is that you're down here, this will try to make its way back up and break inside the trend line again. You know, more than likely, it'll just hit the trend line, give it up in space. But as that's doing that, that is going to put pressure on the market because we, the bottom line, the market cannot stand the strong dollar. They go out of, it goes out of its mind, literally, okay? Now... 
Let's go into the gold contract. We look at the gold contract. What do you have with the gold contract? Gold contract's down 10 bucks, and you can see, as a lot of the targets are saying in there, man, gold couldn't move when the dollar was down 1,400 ticks yesterday. Now, all of a sudden, the dollar just goes down a little more, uh, and bottom line, look what happens. That being said, what you have is that this is so light a volume, folks, the bottom line, gold wants higher price. We're pulling back today uh, 10 bucks. You only have 111,000 contracts. I believe we're going into uh, 199. We're going into a good number. Let me see what this is. Yeah, we did 155 yesterday. We're going into 169. Yeah, this is a, this. There's not a lot of sellers. That 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 can that you know it can pull back further. That's for sure. But the bottom line is that the sellers aren't out here. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities we have out here um, today. You got uh, let's see. I got AMC, the meme stocks. That's up. That's up a buck seventy-one. Ford's up twenty-six cents. You got uh, Nvidia down one fifty-six. Amazon's off two fifty. No big, big numbers here, man. No real big numbers. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and see the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Uh, oh, Disney's going to be their number. Disney, they, they came out with their numbers, <laughs> decent numbers, and the expansion of price is amazing, man, 38%. So uh, Disney is putting 33 positive points inside the Dow. You get uh, Travelers 26, Goldman 25 taken away from it, United Health 46, Amgen 22, and J&J uh, &J, uh, 100. No, I'm sorry, 20 points, 20 points. And the, inside the MDX 100, the strength versus the weakness there. You got uh, Pindo Do is up 4%. You got Constellation Brands up 3%. JD.com up 2 Airbnb up 1 Taken away from it. DocuSign, that's down 4.5%. You got Zoom off 4%. You got Splunk off 36 And... Bottom line is that this is a little baby, uh, yeah, it didn't take the B point out with volume, but it wants lower price. Dow Industrials right now, uh, flat, NASDAQ is uh, down 85, S&Ps are down 4. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.